Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about container queries. This is something that's been on the wish list of developers for quite a few years now uh, and it's finally, finally at least here for us to play with. It's in Chrome, uh, it's behind a flag but it is in Chrome, we can have a look at it. It's part of a CSS working group, it looks as though it will come to all the browsers, uh, just not quite there yet but we can certainly have a look uh, and dig into what it provides us. Uh, before we do though, if you find yourself enjoying the video feel free to click that subscribe button below, change the alert icon to all uh, and you'll get updates for future videos. Alright, what have we got? Uh, what are What are container queries? They're kind of like an extension then of media queries. A media query allows us to get the viewport width or the viewport height. This is great, it's great for responsive websites. We can tell if we're on a mobile view, we can tell if we're on a desktop, and we can spe we can um, align our website into a nice column view or a wider view, depending on what device we're on. And that works fine, but does, not quite work when we start to go into the world of components. Um, things these days are written as components in terms of reusability. You know, if it, look at React; it's all about components. If you want to put, and if you want to put a, uh, a web component out there on the web for people to use, um, then this is where that helps because you don't know quite how they're going to use it. You know, with your website, you've got control. You, you know if you've got something in a column down 50% of the screen and you can adjust to that accordingly. Um, but with a component, you don't know how someone's gonna use it. Um, and so using you know the media queries at the moment, you can't tell the size of the container that it's in. Uh, and that's where container queries come to the rescue. So let's jump in and have a little look. We can have a little play. Um, yeah, in Chrome, in Canary, uh, at the time of recording this, uh, if you come into Chrome Flags and then we can search for CSS Container, um, CSS, enable CSS Container Query. So I've enabled that, that means we can have a little look at it. All right, um, right back in here, I'm going to create a card component and we'll see how that works today with media queries and then what containers provide for us. So let's do a, um, a div here and say that it is, uh, we'll just call this main, and then we'll have another div for our component. So this will be our card component, say. So we'll have a card in here that will have an image, and we will set its height, its width, sorry, just give it a width in there. And then we'll just have some text as well. In fact, let me let me come in here, close that off, and we can then see this coming up as it happens. Um, and then we'll have a div with some text. So this um, is smudge the beagle, and this text won't. Wrap. Right, so I'll put that in just so we can show um, the issues with media queries contain compared to container queries, this text. So what, what we want is, um, by default, we have the image on top and the text underneath, but then when we scroll out, we maybe want to move this text over to the right-hand side here. But we only want to do it when we know we're wide enough that it won't wrap. Um, so let's go into our style here. And we know we've got a, a card class, and we're going to want to set it to be a flex. Um, and by default, see, let's put it over to the right at the moment. By default, let's set the direction um, to be a column. And that should put it back. And we'll set the background color just so we can see it changing as well. So we'll start off with it. Um, on yellow. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so today we would use a media query here and we would say, okay, anything above a certain width. So let's put a min width um, of about 80 characters and see if that works well. So when we're more than 80 characters wide, we would want to change 
the display. Sorry, we would want to change the flex direction. And we'd want to set that to back to row. Um, right, so you can see it's flicked it over here already. So we're obviously wider than 80 there. So if I if I come back, in fact, let me let me set the color so we can see it again better. So we'll know which which um, width we're on at the moment. So we're on a mobile view at the moment. We're less than less than 80. We want it to be um, stacked on top of each other. So that's why we've got a flex direction column. Uh, as we get wider, we'll reach 80 characters and this will then take effect and override it so we get the green background and we also change the flex direction to row because we've got more width here to play with so and that moves out um, you know so if I did this too small if I did this to say at 40 characters then as I come back in it's it's applied that um, and it's wrapping this text so we know that's that's not the right position so we want it at about 80 characters all right, so what's the problem? Well, you know, it seems fine, doesn't it? Yeah, and it, when you're in charge of the website, it is fine to use media queries. It's when you want to let other people use it. Um, so say someone else was using this and they had this card component and they had it down one side of their website. So it's actually only 50% of the width of the viewport. So let's um, kind of show that. So they... If their main that they, they're using this in was only 50% of the width, then you're going to be in here. Um, and we can see that's that's not working already. It's wrapped on our 80, our 80 characters. Let me take it out again just to show this. So we save that off. And that's good. Because we go from the mobile view and we change only when we know it's wide enough that this won't wrap. If we're now in the scenario where our component is only half the width, it's still returning the width of the viewport. We're not looking at our container, we're looking at the width of the browser and it's saying, yeah, we're 80 characters, you can go into a wide view and you won't wrap. No, we are gonna wrap because we're actually only 40 characters in our component. Um, so what we need to be able to do is get the width of our container, not the whole viewpoint viewport. Um, right. So how do we do that? Well, container queries. So it's quite it's quite easy to use as well. They, the, one of the problems and why it's taken so long for this to come out is because of performance. So I can just yeah, no, I'll, I'll do it in here. Um, so we need to specify the container that. Um, we're using uh, we need to specify quite what we're looking at as well um, so what we can do is on our container we can specify the contain keyword and say layout and also inline size so there's a few of these um, you know we, we don't want to go into too much detail about what the possibilities are but for us to get um, to get the horizontal width this is what we need to apply here and then we can simply flick this over from media to container right you can see it changed there straight away because our container isn't 80 characters it's only 40 at the moment so now we're looking at the correct width and if I bring this out now it'll flick over when this container, this green section, is 80 characters, rather than looking at the whole viewport. So, you know, I can now create this as a web component, put it out there, and it's gonna work um, no matter where people use it in that, where and how people use it in their websites. So for component developers, this is, this is great stuff. Um, like I say, it's only in experimental phase at the moment, but it looks as though we are finally gonna get it. I'm quite excited to use it. Um, there you go, container queries. Have a little play with it there in Canary. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. A thumbs down if not, catch you next time. Thanks very much for watching, bye.